Hello YouTube. I am Anonymous. I am here to tell you about the horrors of Scientology. Here are some facts about Scientology. Its founder, L. Ron Hubbard, was a science fiction writer before inventing Scientology. The Church believes that an intergalactic overlord called Zanu, who presided over 78 planets, over 78 million years ago, and brought the overpopulated masses from the other planets to the prison planet Earth also called TGAK where he bombed them with hydrogen bombs. Although Scientology is viciously opposed to the use of psych drugs, L. Ron Hubbard was using Visceral, a psych drug, when he died. To avoid controversy in the late 60s, Hubbard took to the seas in a fleet of ships he commanded, named the Fleet Sea Org, took a load of crazy recreational drugs, tortured his crew and had semi-clad girls wait on him hand and foot. If you sign up to be a member of Sea Org, your contract is for a billion years. David Miscavige, leader of the Church of Scientology, used to beat his aides. L. Ron Hubbard once begged the Veterans Administration for psychiatric help. Scientologists refer to non-Scientologists as WOGs. The term is copyrighted. It is unsurprising to learn that Hubbard was a racist too. The Church of Scientology is not a church, it's a corporation. Hubbard was a serial masturbate or, noting in his diaries, I have a very bad masturbatory history. I was taught when I was 11 and, despite guilt, fear of insanity, etc. etc. I persisted. The Church of Scientology forged bomb threats from one of its ex-members to frame her for conviction. A randomized study of the stress test the church offers had three individuals submit diametrically opposed answers. The results all reflected negative results, requiring treatment. Which means the test is weighted towards negativity. These are just a few facts for your enjoyment. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.